Robert Kennedy Jr. continues to be almost completely ignored by both left and right-leaning cable news following the launch of his third-party presidential campaign. Fox News, MSNBC, CNN combined mentioned him just eight times in the past two weeks. Now, this is status quo for the left-leaning outlets. And while JFK was the toast of the town on Fox News for a while, now they are giving him the cold shoulder since he's running against the eventual Republican nominee and heavily favored Donald Trump. But the partisan media on both sides ignore him, I think, at their peril, because the latest fundraising and polling numbers suggest whether they like it or not, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is going to be a factor in the 2024 presidential race. He raked in a whopping $11 million within six hours of launching his independent bid. Campaign coffers filling up fast. Look at his poll numbers. New PBS poll shows Kennedy drawing 16 percent of the vote in a hypothetical three-way race with Biden and Trump. He could very well determine the outcome of the 2024 election, and no one seems to really want to talk about him. Back with us, Kaylee McGee-White, Storing America editor at Washington Examiner, Larry Sharp, libertarian candidate in New York, and John Fugelsang, comedian and Sirius XM host on the Progress Channel. Um, Kaylee, how significant do you think he is, and which one do you think he helps more? I think that he hurts Biden more, ultimately. I think that his fundraising haul is impressive. However, I just don't see any realistic path to victory for a third party candidate because of the state selection process. I mean, the winner takes all system really. Right. Takes he's not going to win. No, no, he's no. He's not going to win. The question is, who's he going to? And he seems to think, by the way, that he's going to take more votes from Trump. And I tend to agree with him. I mean, this is this is RFK talking about this very issue on a recent radio show. If I did. take many more votes right. from President Trump than I do from President Biden. So you think oh. would, so you think it would be a net asset to to I, Biden? I, I think that's that may be one of the reasons they're trying to push me out of the party. Larry, you think he's right? Yes, and there's an and here. One, he was when they believed that he was taking more from Trump. That's when, of course, they they're going to put him on 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 CNN. When they think more from Biden, <laughs> yeah. they're going to put him on you know right Fox. Bye, bye. But now he's gone off to become independent. So now no one loves him. Welcome to my world. Yes, being a third party, yeah. no one pays attention to you. They go out of their way to, to diss you. And the reason is, if he actually gets ballot access, and I keep talking about ballot access, if he gets ballot access, this is winnable. Let me tell you how it's winnable. Two ways, depends on how you de de define a victory. All he has to do is make sure that no one gets 270 votes. That's it. If he makes sure no one gets 270, this gets thrown into the Congress. This gets thrown into the Congress, he's got a shot at either winning or at least being the guy who, who threw it all into, into chaos. So he can make impact with the victory as long as he gets ballot access. And raising $11 million already now, there's a chance he can get enough. If he gets enough states, he will actually make impact. We should not. The reason why we should ignore him is he has a chance of literally winning electoral votes. That could actually happen if he's on the ballot. He does that. He can either win this thing by selection or he could actually decide who wins this. I'm not against third party. I'm an independent. I think our greatest ever president was a third party president who got in with only 38 percent of the vote. And that was Lincoln. Mm -hmm. uh, RFK was taking a lot more away from Trump with the anti-vax rhetoric. And that's why last week he began talking about reparations. And now he's getting more heat. It is true that third party candidates like Ross Perot and uh, Ralph have gotten a lot more media coverage in the last 25 years. In this case, Robert Kennedy's not going to be able to win the Kennedy family primary, and they're going to come out against him hard. I don't Does that know matter? If, I mean, that matters among Democrats, well, right? Well, if the Kennedy brand is what he's riding, the Kennedy... For Democrats. For Democrats, the Kennedy family will come out against it. So right. I, they I, already have. I disagree with every... I still think that it hurts Biden more, and I say this because the, the Democratic primary base has not made up its mind about Joe Biden, but everyone in the Republican base has made up their mind about Donald Trump one way or the other. The Republican base is pretty much unified around Trump. Joe Biden cannot solidify his support right now. That pulls support away from him. And also, listen, all Trump has to do is get up on the stage and say, he endorsed Hillary Clinton twice. He voted for Joe Biden in 2020. He supports a radical climate agenda, and he supports AOC's tax plan. That Those are RFK's policies. As soon as you start talking details, the support from Rep well, Republican Well, that's what Sean Hannity's gonna, doing now, right? Yeah. Before, he was sort of celebrating him. Oh, my, no one's giving him a chance, and now Hannity's, like, cross-examining him. I mean, find me liberals who care about women's reproductive rights who are going to vote for a guy who spoke at CPAC. 
RFK speaking at CPAC, that's kissing away Democratic yeah, but I'll, votes. I'll go back to my point, right? He has to win in independent states. He's got to win in like Utah or Wyoming or New Hampshire or a place like that. I'm, I'm making those states up. But that's where he's going to win. He's not going to win in any place else. But in, he could win in those states because there's enough people who are independent minded or who don't vote. Mm-hmm. And if that person gets up out of their seat, yeah. right, and they show up at the polling station, they vote RFK. Product Jr. brand name recognition. A hundred percent. So Bush. there is a chance that it could still happen, but I'm going to go back to it. Ballot access is everything.